Hey guys, welcome to another filter cutup video. This time I've got three from Bosch that I want to look at. We've got uh, the workshop here, which is primarily meant for dealerships and service shops and things. We've got the premium and the distance plus. Now all three of these guys apply to the same vehicle, so this is an apples to apples comparison. But to start off by looking at the workshop and the premium, they're very similar. The only differences are the external markings here and the anti-drain back valves underneath. The premium comes with a silicone anti-drain back valve, which performs better in more extreme temperatures than the synthetic rubber one that you get here with the workshop. That's really where the differences end. They both weigh in the mid 250s. There's only a few grams that separate these guys, and that's most likely due to manufacturing variants more than anything else. And they do share a lot of features underneath. They both have the same 120 thousandths thick nitrile gasket underneath. They have the same hole pattern of eight holes that are all the same diameter for a total flow area of 0.324 square inches or thereabouts. And they both have four threads on the center hole there, which is pretty typical for filters like this. So that's those guys. What really stands out though is this Bosch Distance Plus. Now the first thing you'll notice when you pick it up is how heavy it is. These guys we just saw were in the mid 250s. I've reviewed filters that cross-reference with these from other brands like Wix and Fram and KNN. Their top offerings really don't come in much over 300 grams. So this guy, though, weighs over 350, which is, you know, very surprising. I've never seen that before And anything other than this Purolator Boss. Now, it appears to be a direct clone of this Bosch uh, Distance Plus. Now, I will be doing a cut-up of this guy along with some other Purolators in an upcoming video, but that's really the only place I've seen filters this heavy. Now, there's two reasons why it weighs this much. One is the case thickness. Now, I've been doing some research. I'm going to verify when I cut it up, but I think we're going to see that it's 20 thousandths thick. I've only seen that on a K&N Performance Gold filter before, and that really gives you an advantage when it comes to burst pressure and resistance to denting and rock strikes, which may not be that important to you, but I, will, I do want to point out that these guys came in dented in the mail, so it doesn't take a whole lot. Anyway... That's that, but probably the main contributor to why it weighs so much is the thickness of the stamping on this base plate. Check out how thick that is. That is by far the thickest I've seen. And another indicator as to how beefy this thing is, is that that center hole has five threads on it, which is also pretty rare. I've only seen that on a Wix XP filter before. So that's really nice to have. The center holes are the same as the other filters here. They're all, they're the same quantity and size, so there's really not much of an advantage when it comes to total flow area from underneath. It does, it also has the same silicone anti-drain back valve material as the premium, but the, uh, there is a thicker PTFE treated seal underneath. It's 183 thousandths thick, a little higher quality, and that's pretty much externally where all the differences end between these guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut these open now so we can take a look at the filter elements themselves as well as the bypass valves down inside of there. So I will get back to you when I've got those all ready. So here we are. While they're all similar, each of the filter cartridges are a little bit different as you compare the different tiers. The outer and inner diameters are all within 30 thousandths of each other, so those are about the same. But the Distance Plus is about 300 thousandths taller than the other two, which are about the same. As far as pleat counts go, the Workshop has 61 pleats, the Premium has 57, and the Distance Plus has 60. Now the filter paper itself also is a little bit different. It ranges from 20 thousandths thick on the Workshop and increases up to almost or around 29 thousandths on the Distance Plus. So what all of these different things add up to are the filtration efficiencies and dirt capacities that are shown here. These are numbers published by Bosch uh, per the ISO uh, testing standard for these types of filters. And you can see that the filtration efficiency ranges from 97.5% on the workshop all the way up to 99.9% .9 on the Distance Plus. Dirt capacity is the highest on the Distance Plus at almost 30 grams, which is more than double what you'll get on either of the other two. So that's, that's pretty much everything I have to say about the filter cartridges themselves. The bypass valves have... Um, Pretty much the same design for all three tiers with a captured spring and disc shaped valve in the bottom. These valves look like they're made from like a compressed fiberboard or they look like cardboard though they're they're quite stiff. I have seen other manufacturers uh, with a similar design overall that make these seals out of plastic or my favorite which is rubber. So that'd be nice to see but I'm sure they all work well enough as it is. 
The base plates, I don't really have anything to add from from earlier, but I do want to let you just see how thick these guys look from the inside, particularly this distance plus. You can see how much thicker it is than the other two, so just want to let you get a look at that. And now I did throw some calipers on the wall thicknesses of each of these cans and did verify that the distance plus is 20 thousandths thick, and it is. The premium and workshops are only 15, which is more typical, but as I squeeze these with the same amount of force, you can see that the distance plus is a lot stiffer. Now, you may not need that stiffness or extra strength, you know, really at the end of the day, if you're any kind of normal driver, but it's nice to know that if you're going to get the top tier, you will have extra quality. Just uh, knowing that that's there is kind of a nice thing. Now, as far as prices go, I spent between six and ten dollars for each of these. Now, I know prices vary and whatnot, but a four dollar spread is not really enough to keep me from purchasing the top tier just to have the peace of mind. So you may want to do likewise, but. Anyway, that's pretty much everything I had on these Bosch filters. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do have some other videos just like this for some other brands, so if you want to see those, check out the links to the right. And if you appreciate the content, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if there's a particular brand that I haven't covered in, in any other video that you would like to see, let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching.